hey everyone and welcome to Geeks Fun Alive. This is actually going to be a quite a quick show today to discuss an issue that I spotted online, uh, leading me to carry out some research and investigate with a little bit of digging. This was prompted by a post on social media from a drone pilot who had decided to actually cancel some work he had planned due to a temporary flight restriction showing on drone assist in central London. The pilot is actually an experienced chap who frankly is probably top of my list in terms of who I would recommend and who I would choose to fly in the highly restricted airspace that is central London. So if it can happen to him, then it can happen to most people, frankly. The issue surrounds how a NOTAM was presented on drone assist. Now to discuss the issue and explain the solution and talk about our advice, I'm going to bring in Graham, our resident co-host, to talk about this issue. And of course, we get to admire his what I'm sure will be an amazing shirt. Um, I think it was quite a funky one, actually. Let's, let's bring him in, shall we? Oh, yes, yes, it's, qu it's quite a nice shirt. How are you, sir? I'm flowery, I think. That's how I am. Yeah. Flowery. I'm Very nice. a little bit, little bit wary, wary, anything flowery, because it's flying ant day down here. I don't want the little suckers oh, yes. crawling up me and taking off. Flying ants. Yes, no, <laughs> indeed. That's not, that's not a lot of fun, is it? Flying protein. Mm, yes. Okay, so we're going to uh, talk about this problem that, that was spotted um, and we're going to get straight into it so that we don't um, uh, bore people. Um, so here it is. So this was the flight restriction, the, the TFR as drone assistors suddenly decided to, to call this particular one here. And the issue around this, as you can see, is basically that it's showing as a, a, a TFR, as a temporary flight restriction. So it appears as a red restriction in the airspace. Now, one of the things that, that first triggered me, and I know it triggered you, Graham, when you saw it as well, when I sent it through to you, is that it, it here, it's, it's first of all the title, filming pilots are requested not to overfly. I haven't seen that too many times um, in, a, no. in, a, in a restricted airspace temporary, as they're actually called. Um, and then also the, the body of the NOTAM text basically led me to think, okay, we probably need to have a little bit more of a, a dig into this and see what actually happened, what's actually happening there. Um, because, of course, that isn't how a temporary restriction should look. Now, I, I do have, and I have brought up a version which does have a temporary restriction. Now, this one is actually going to be going into effect um, very soon. Uh, this is up near Manchester. And as you can see with this highlighted it here, it comes up with the thing here, restricted area, temporary in brackets um, and that is the one that really does mean okay this is actually going to be um, the real deal as it were basically so it, it is restricted airspace temporary and at the bottom here you can see this is the thing you really do need to look for in these restrictions is this line down here which is basically restriction of flying regulations made under article 239 of the NAV order 2016 which of course means technically the Secretary of State has signed off on this becoming a temporary restriction, basically. And that's the important bit, isn't it? And obviously this, as I say, this will go, this will go live uh, red once it goes live. Uh, but these are the formal temporary restrictions, basically. Oh, absolutely. They, they get a mention, I think, in the implementing regulations, don't they? The Secretary they do. of State can, can essentially close airspace and it's there in the air navigation order as well. No, exactly. And it's, it's it, you know, and, and that's, that's the bit you need to look for. But again, to be fair, when you're looking at this kind of thing on, on a map and it's, you know, the red circle and everything else like that, there's actually two of them at the moment because there's another one coming in. It, it, it isn't, it, is it a shock to you, Graeme, that it isn't completely clear and straightforward with something to do with the UK airspace? Um, <laughs> it's... So there we go. Now these the, the one that, but not surprised. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Now the one that we showed you, which was the correct one, the RAT, as they're called, the restricted airspace temporary with the temporary in brackets. That's the temporary restrictions that actually come through via Skywise. And I would recommend that you go to skywise.caa.co.uk and sign up for that because then you actually get them sent through to your email, basically. And you tend to get a bit of notice as well so that you can keep an eye out. As you were yeah. saying, Graham, you had operations in London, and so you sort of kept an eye out on those emails to see if anything London-y sort of popped up, didn't you? Popped up, yeah. So, so yeah. So, now, in terms of how it should have, how this should look on, on the Drone Assist platform, let's bring up one that is a, a navigation warning, basically. So this little blue circle here, which I will bring in and zoom in, um, I, I chose it because it's quite cool. Explosive demolitions. <laughs> um, but as you can see up here on, on the right-hand side, it's navigation warning, which is essentially, in my view, 
what this one actually is. Mm. Um, now, obviously, what, what, the, what they're asking for on this is actually for pilots not to overfly during certain times. The contact telephone number that's there actually goes back to, and, and of course, they mention it here, the Globe Theatre. So it, it's probable that they're going to be filming something where perhaps an Inspire 3 floating past in the background <laughs> isn't something that they want on camera, maybe. That, that might be what that is. Um, but yes, but in terms of how it should look, in my opinion, this is it here. Uh, explosive demolitions, uh, navigation warning. And again, with all the information and the NOTAM, and, you know, this doesn't mean I'm going to ignore this if I go flying there, does it, Graham? No. You know, we're, no. we're going to be good airmen and actually, you know, be, be responsible. And actually, if we go particularly close, we might pick up the phone and, and speak to them. Yeah. But it's, it, it isn't a restriction. It isn't stopping you automatically, as it were. No, you're, you're aware that there's something going on around there that you, you, you need to take, to take a little bit of extra care. And obviously, as you say, if you're a good airman, you'll try and make them aware that you're doing something. I mean, you could pop just pop a flight up on on drone assist because obviously they're they're using drone assist. But, yes, uh, yeah, no, it, indeed. It's, it it was a deceptive one. I think I had a few and, people. And for. and you know, again, one of the reasons why I think it's a fantastic thing. Um, uh, and and you know, no, no no criticism of anybody involved here either. From, which I'll explain why uh, from a point of view of drone assist in, in, in a few minutes, but also the pilot himself, because frankly, um, uh, it doesn't surprise me that he took the safest route and, and didn't fly, basically, which is which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, and again, that is, you know, exemplary airmanship, frankly, the fact that he's decided to do that. So, um, But again, the, this little panel here shows uh, the text uh, zoomed in uh, for both of the NOTAMs, and you can see the one on the left, which is the, um, the, the real uh, temporary uh, restricted airspace, uh, is the one that has this restriction of flying regulations made under Article 239. That really is the key. That is the one to look for and certainly pay yeah. full attention you, to. You, could you could you pop that one up again, Sean? Do you mind? Uh, uh, of course. There you go, sir. Thank you. So, so yeah, just, just looking at that one as well, it's, it, it's the, the wording around in Section E, restricted area. Quite often you will expect to see active for UAS only. That's a very common... Brand. Yes, yes. Whereas in the other one, it's e filming. Pilots are requested not to overfly. Well, in in law, we're not pilots; we're remote pilots. Mm. So and, it yes, exactly. And 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 the like upper airspace really is twenty one hundred. Yeah. yeah, no, that's right. It, exactly. It, it, so, so the wording is strange. Yes, and and actually, Dan the drone man's just said it in the chat as well. Given the height, this seems to be regarding a helicam um, rather than a drone. Uh, obviously, they shouldn't be you know above. Uh, flying below 500 feet anyway should they uh yeah we won't get into that particular argument but yes especially in uh, a, a city as well there are also obviously some other um uh, stipulations and regulations to do to do with that as well frankly um so so yes so it, it, the, the, one of the biggest things that i can really stress here that we talk about so many times here on geeks Varna is trust the app the drone assist app is awesome but it isn't gospel basically and actually, mm. through through my discussions with um, Altitude Angel, who are of course the drone uh, assist creators, they I, I spoke to them this afternoon. They responded very very quickly. And the problem is actually how the information was inputted in, so by CAA, Nats, or whoever. And therefore, the drone assist system is interpreting it as a TFR. And of course, it shows it as such. So it's an input error. Uh, most of the restrictions we see on screen are actually auto fed directly from things like the legislation feeds and, as I say, CAA NATS. So if the information is slightly wrong, it will appear incorrectly on the app. And that includes somebody loading something as a TFR and not as a, um, a, a navigation warning, basically. Now, yeah. Altitude Angel do have people that look at correcting errors, but of course they cannot check everything. Also, we wouldn't want to be in a world where everything would only appear once checked. Because obviously this is a fast moving thing. It and when delay you delay everything, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And 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 when you look at the the sheer amount, I mean, in, in the London area that uh, 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 London drone pilots and everybody else has to contend with, uh, it's incredible, isn't it? It's a bit of a soup yeah, really. Yeah. Circle soup. It's a particularly particularly busy time at the moment, <laughs> isn't it? If you zoom in it there, is. It there's is. a lot going on. So if we had to if they had to manually check all of that, it wouldn't work. But the system is robust, but of course, as I always say, 
it isn't 100%, no system can be, and you need to really um, uh, check things and uh, as much as you possibly can, frankly. The drone assist system is, in my opinion, a beautiful thing, and uh, w w without it, we would frankly be lost. We'd all be checking the charts themselves, and, and trust me, you really do not want to do that. Uh, but as we always warn on Geeks Varna, as I keep saying, we do need to check things independently. Yeah. If there's any issue at all, go along to notam.info and actually have a look at the full Notam. And if it still doesn't make sense, keep digging. Um, uh, find out what's actually happening there. But certainly, if the Notam itself doesn't have the legislation within it, it's a bit like these signs in, in, in parks. If it doesn't have the legislation in the, in, inside of it, it's probably a policy. It's not actually backed up yeah. by a piece of legislation um, that's saying no drone flying. And it's similar-ish with this kind of thing, a little bit more serious, because they're still warning you of something that's happening in the area. So that, that's really the advice this evening. And I think it's, it, it is just, you know, check the facts, isn't it, Graham? Yeah. So certainly looking at NOTAM info when I, because we were talking about this while I was on my lunchtime walk. So I got back in, piled into no, NOTAM info, and, and that had the wording without the TFR. So you would read that and say, oh, it's a navigation warning, which is what it reads as when you when you read the text of it. It looks like a navigation warning. Uh, so so it yeah. probably is I, one. I, yeah. I think I think but 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 then I, I think, for instance, it would have been different if, for instance, if this one said temporary flight restriction explosive, it still feels, you know, that that, that would feel quite scary. And I think I would be a bit sort of like, actually, I'm not going to fly anywhere near that. It, it, it's incredible. Because quite rightly, we've trained ourselves to think of like this one here, ATZ. You know, it's 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 an actual yeah. um, aerodrome, aerodrome zone, etc. So we yeah. have trained ourselves correctly to you know not fear, but to be very careful around those sort of areas. So when we do see something mark up as red, um, as as a, a temporary flight restriction at the top there, I, I'm not surprised, I'm, I'm, and I, I think a lot no. of people would and probably do do it. And, I, I, and actually, I get a lot of emails from people um, with the large sort of square danger areas and that type of thing as well, thinking it excludes them automatically. But it, it just, yeah. uh, you know, and, and of course, we have a, a situation here where we're, we're drone operators in an airspace, which is very complex. And, you know, especially beginner drone pilots, I mean, um, uh, Matthew in this in this instance certainly isn't. Um, he, he is definitely one of the, the talented experts out there. Um, but when you are a beginner, it's a lot to take on board. But just add a little bit, add a little bit of reading every month and just get to know things. And if you do start flying in a lot of places where these pop up, then do go across to notam.info and have a read through a few notams and see the different types of things that might, might come up. Um, and certainly skywise.caa.co.uk, go across there and sign up for the drone notification 